Turns out that older adults start to lose their memories at about the age of 60, uh, and they also start losing their olfactory ability at about the same age. When people don't get enough olfactory stimulation, the memory centers of their brain start to deteriorate. And it turns out that the, the olfactory system is the only sense that has a direct superhighway projection into the memory centers of the brain. All of the other senses take the side streets and have much less impact. So if you don't get enough olfactory stimulation, the memory centers start to deteriorate. And in our modern affluent world, we just don't get enough olfactory stimulation. You have to realize that the brain evolved at a time when no one bathed ever. So they were getting plenty of olfactory stimulation. And, and now we just don't get it. Also, there are various things that can damage the olfactory system. Air pollution, smoking, toxins, menopause, various medications, uh, st chronic stress, childhood maltreatment. All of these things cause olfactory loss. And when you look at the various neurological and psychiatric disorders, almost all of them are accompanied by olfactory loss. I've counted about 70 of them. Uh, schizophrenia, anorexia, autism, depression, <clears throat> the list goes on and on. It turns out that all uh, dementias are accompanied by olfactory loss. And the things that are most likely to kill you, heart disease, cancer, lung disease, liver disease, kidney disease, all of those are accompanied by olfactory loss. And by middle age, you can actually predict your all-cause mortality based on your ability to how, how well you smell things. It's more predictive than if you have heart disease. So if olfactory loss causes the brain's memory centers to deteriorate, can increasing olfactory stimulation with olfactory enrichment improve that? And so we took older adults and for six months, we gave them olfactory enrichment for a couple of hours while they were sleeping. And they had, relative to the controls, 26% improvement in their memory. And as far as I know, that's the largest improvement in memory that people have found. And it's particularly nice because you don't have to do anything. You just go to sleep. People are drawn to that idea of not doing anything and improving your brain at the same time. So there's been a flood of interest in this. As I said, there's over 200 media stories. It's in the top couple of dozen media stories of any neuro paper on neurology. And as it happens, uh, there's another report that's come out where they've given olfactory enrichment to demented older adults. Uh, and as you may know, there are hundreds of failed clinical trials for, for Alzheimer's disease, for dementia. And at this point, this is now the most effective treatment for Alzheimer's disease. The, uh, the individuals who received olfactory enrichment had significant improvements in their memory on five memory tests with, with improvements ranging up to 300%. Uh, and that's much, much better than any drug that's been tried. Uh, so we need a treatment for dementia that is effective, safe, low cost, and easy to use. So we've uh, formed a company called Memory Air, and the, the, the reason that we formed it is that in order to get the kind of improvements that they've seen in dementia, they needed to use 40 odorants twice a day. And so we have a device that sits on your nightstand, blows 40 odors at you as you're sleeping twice a night, and if people are interested for themselves or their family, they can 
go on the Memory Air website and uh, we'll notify you when it starts to be available.